This is CDJ from the Gaming Tailgate. Today with a retail version of NBA Live 18. Thank you to the good people at EA Sports for this early copy. I hope they're staying safe and dry as Hurricane Irma hit the region last night and today. Hopefully everything will be okay and then get back to normal as soon as possible. Today in NBA Live 18 I want to show you uh, on the retail version some differences with the player types and also a cool feature you may not know about. You can have up to five players saved that you can pick from at any time to play with and further their statistics and career. From the main menu, tab over to the one active player. You'll see the player I created in the demo, a wing defender. Uh, today I want to make a new player, one with a new archetype that we didn't have in the demo. Now that we've gone through and edited the basic look of our player, we're going to go into the player types. And so, like I said, some of these are new in the retail. They were not included in the demo. I know what I want to be, but I'm going to go through all these real quick just in case you didn't play the demo or maybe you played the demo and realized some of these are new that you didn't have as options before. First for a guard, we have the point shooter, slasher, backcourt defender, and playmaker. Point shooter, Steph Curry, that really not a lot of explanation needed for that. Slasher, in the mold of Westbrook. Backcourt defender, playing like Mike Conley, and playmaker like John Wall. John Wall with outstanding ratings in the game here at launch. I have no reason to doubt that they won't stay that way the entire season. Now let's head into wing, where we have wing shooter, wing scorer, wing defender, and hybrid wing. wing. And hybrid wing is the one that I will be using personally. Wing shooter, Clay Thompson. Wing scorer, DeMar DeRozan. Wing defender, Kawhi Leonard. That's what I had used a lot in the demo and really liked. Hybrid wing, the one I'm going to run with. I, I love that rebounding is going to be in there, something you can unlock at level 7. Primary skills dunk in mid-range, someone who likes to play online like I do in terms of playing live run. I like to get the rebounds and I like close shots and I do not like to miss them and my poorly rated player did that quite a bit in the demo. I want to make sure I can avoid that here in retail. I like to just clean up underneath, get some easy baskets, leave the shooting to the pros, the guys who can master that lag or any kind of timing delay they have. I am not quite good enough for that, so I will prefer to clean up their mess and use hybrid wing, a guy who's really athletic like Giannis, that's what I'm going to build my player after. And finally, big. We have stretch big, rim protector, and post anchor. Stretch big in the mold of Kevin Love, rebounding and three-point shooting. I tried that in the demo. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if it was me or something with the player type, but just really couldn't get into it. And I thought I would with that rebounding being a primary skill from the get-go, but just didn't work out well for me personally. If you like it, let me know. Rim protector, Anthony Davis. This is a, a big one online. If you can have a guy who can really protect that rim, your team is so much better in live run. And finally, post anchor, built on Marcus Hall. And like I said, hybrid wing is the one I'm going to run with. Uh, it wasn't in the demo, unfortunately, but it is here in retail, so we're going to run with it. And this creative guy will be the one of the five that I envision sticking with first and building up first. As you can see, the height and weight will affect your ratings. So you can kind of tweak it to give yourself an extra boost, or also realizing that's going to detract in certain areas. Being that I want my player to be good at rebounding, I probably don't want to hurt his vertical at all. So we'll drop down to 208, give a slight boost in speed and vertical to get up and down the court strength. I'll take the slight knock. Hopefully that doesn't cause my player to get knocked down on the ground too often, especially underneath. Height, we'll bump that up. Let's say to 6'8, that regains everything basically back to normal. Gained an inch, hopefully that'll help on the rebounding. And there he is. This is permanent. It cannot be changed later. You can delete the players. However, obviously they're gone then. There's no major editing allowed after that. So that's it, guys. That's how you make your extra players here at NBA Live 18 on the retail edition. It shows you when you start up who your active player is, so make sure it's on the player you want. And from there, now you know the player types. You've seen the full versions here in retail. Let me know what player you're going to use, what type you're going to use. I'm going with the hybrid wing. Hopefully this will help me be even more productive online and help win some team games here in Live Run, unlock some great crates and rewards. Like I said, let me know who you're going to use, what kind of player type in the comments below. If you find this helpful at all, please give a like and subscribe. Everyone, thanks for watching.